Welcome to Learning Land and in this video we will see how we can write a Java program to take the input for an array from the user using a for loop and then we will display the contents of that array or whatever the value that the user has entered using another for loop. So here I have already written some code. I have created a package called as tutorials and then I have this class called as friends and then here we have this static void main method which is the entry point of our program. So here in this program what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user about how many friends you have and the user is going to enter a number and depending on that number we will create an array which can contain that many uh, values and then we will use a loop and we will ask the user to enter the names of uh, each of his friends and then we will store the names in the array and then we will display the names out using another for loop. So here the first thing that we do is we will declare the variables that we need. The first variable that we need is for storing the number of friends our user has. So I'm going to say num and then we will use the print line method and we will ask the user about how many friends you have. So it's going to be system dot out dot print line method and here we will say how many friends you have and uh, by seeing this um, message the user is going to enter the number. Now here we have to take the input from the user. So to take the input from the user we will use the uh, scanner class. So I'm going to import the scanner class from the util package. Okay. And then we will create an object of this scanner class. So scanner, I'm going to call this object as input equal to new scanner. And here we have to pass in the input stream. So it will be system dot in. Okay. Now we will uh, take the input from the user about how many friends he has. So it will be input dot next int method. It will return an integer value and we will store that in our num variable. So now we know how many friends a user has and in order to store the names of those friends, we will create an array which can contain that many values. So here we will create the array now. So it's going to be an array of strings and I'm going to call it as names equal to new string and here I'm going to specify the array size as num that is the array size is present in this num variable. Now we have an array that can contain the names of the uh, friends a user has. Now we will ask the user to enter the names of each friends and we will store them one by one inside this names array. So I'm going to use a for loop in here. We need a loop counter variable. I'm going to call it as counter and we will initialize this with a value of zero because array indexing starts from zero. And how long we want to continue this for loop? We want to continue this for loop as long as this counter variable contains a value which is less than the value present in the num variable. Here we are using less than that's because the counter is starting from zero. And then with each iteration, we will increment the value of this counter variable. Okay. Now here we will display a message to the user. I'm going to use system dot out dot print line method. And here I'm going to say enter the name of friend. And then I'm going to use the addition operation. And then here within this parenthesis, I'm going to perform counter plus one. Uh, it will display like enter the name of friend one, enter the name of friend two, enter the name of friend three like that. Here we are performing this counter plus one. That's because the counter is starting from zero. Uh, if you don't do that, then uh, if you just use counter in here, then it will display enter the name of friend zero. So that doesn't make any sense friend zero. So we will uh, make it uh, start the counting from one. So it will just display that and it will not alter the value of this counter variable. Okay. And after that, we will uh, read the uh, name that will be entered by the user using the input object of this scanner class. And we will use the method next. This method will read a string value from the user and it will return that. And we will store that in the array. So we want to store the user input in the names array 
and we will store it in the position pointed by this counter variable okay now after the completion of this for loop this names array will contain the names of all the friends that the user has entered now once we come out of this uh, for loop you know we are done reading the names from the user so what we can do is we can close the scanner so i'm going to use the input function so i'm going to use input dot close it will close the scanner now the next thing that we can do is we can display the names that we have read from the user so i'm going to copy this uh, for loop again and i'm going to paste it in here and uh, i'm going to get rid of this um, user input part and here we will just display the names for example so we will uh, use the names array and the position pointed by this counter variable it will display all the names and before this for loop i'm going to use a print line statement and i'm going to say your friends are and then this for loop will print out all the names that we have stored in the names array so now we have uh, written the program in here let's run this how many friends you have i'm going to say five enter the name of friend one i'm going to say anil enter the name of friend two i'm going to say rashmit enter the name of friend three i'm going to say joja friend four i'm going to say amulya and we need one more name let's say ajay okay now if i hit the enter button then it says your friends are anil rashmit joja amulya and ajay so here our program is printing the names in the order that we have entered first we entered anil then rashmit then uh, joja then uh, then amulya and then ajay now in this program we have a small issue and that is if i run this program again how many friends you have i'm going to say two friends and if i enter the name as anil space shetty and if i hit the enter button now you guys can see it says your friends are anil and shetty here the problem is the next method that we have used it will read the string values without the spaces whenever it encounters a space it thinks that okay that's the end of it and uh, whatever that is present after the space is a uh, next token so it will not read that and that's why here it is not letting us enter the name for friend 2 when it tries to read for the friend 2 the information that is entered that is space shetty is already there in the buffer so it will ignore the space and it will read shetty and it will store that the value for this friend 2 so this program now will not work so if you want to read the names with spaces then you can use a method next line instead of next here we will use next line it will allow us to read the names with spaces now here also we have an issue and that is uh, let me run this program first how many friends you have i'm gonna say three and if i hit the enter button now it says enter the name of friend one enter the name of friend two i'm gonna enter anil shetty and it says enter the name of friend 3 ajay shetty and it says your friends are no name space anil shetty and ajay shetty what happened here is this this next line method will read the um, string value until it encounters a new line or the line separator here when it asks us about how many friends you have I have entered three and then I have pressed the enter button in my keyboard. So in the input buffer, uh, it will save the number three and then that uh, enter button that I have entered, which is the line separator. And when we read the name for the friend one, when the scanner class goes to read the input from the buffer, 
it sees a line separator in there so it thinks that okay that's the end of the string value so it will not read anything it will stop and it will skip that uh, um, line separator and then it goes to read the next input and that time it will read a nil and then it will continue so here what we can do is after taking the input of how many friends we have from the user what we can do is we can tell the scanner to skip the line separator and we can do that by writing input dot skip and here we can say skip the line separator we can get the line separator by writing system dot line separator okay now if i save this program and run it how many friends you have i'm going to say three enter the name of the friend one enter the name of friend two enter the name of friend three and the program will work properly and it will display all the names that we have entered so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video